can't find those legendary Shansha dramas that give you hundreds of goosebumps anymore, then you are in the right place. As I will use my top 15 Shansha fantasy Chinese dramas of all time as up to 2022. And for more information, Shansha is a genre that involves high fantasy such as cultivation, gods, demons, heaven, and hell. Number 1. Love and Redemption In the mortal realm, the female is devoid of her six senses. At a tournament, she meets the male lead, a talented disciple who was born on the same day as her, and the two become friends. As they promise to meet again, the male returns to his sect, where he is punished for disobeying the rules and forced to wear a mask that might endanger his life, while the female leaves her home to train in martial arts. Number 2. Eternal Love of Dream The female is the queen of Shengshu, who is the only red nine-tailed fox in the world. And one day, after getting attacked by a beast, she was saved by the male lead, the first emperor of heaven. Out of gratitude and depth, she accompanies him to defeat the demon lord. And as they spend more time together, she realizes that her gratitude toward him has slowly turned into love. Unfortunately, the male has long forgotten what love is. Number 3. Ancient Love Poetry Since she is the only real immortal who possesses pure essence energy, the female has spent countless lifetimes acting as the head of the four immortals of the ancient world the four most powerful beings in existence. Basically, this drama is about the love and hardship between the two of the four true gods, the female lead and the male lead. Number 4. Love and Destiny The story starts with the male lead, the god of war, who falls into a deep sleep after stealing away the demon lord. The female lead accidentally wakes him and they fall in love. However, it was found that she was born with something that could help the demon lord break free. And now, the male refuses to kill her and tries to change her fate. Number 5. The Legends After the female dies, she mistakenly believes that the male lead, who is her best ally, is related to her death after he is revealed to be the demon king's son. Five years later, after coming back, she decides to get revenge. She possesses the body of a female disciple of the immortal sect and becomes the direct disciple of the male lead with the aim of killing him. However, things don't go as she planned when she slowly starts to fall in love with him. Number 6. Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain The story starts with the male lead, a young genius who enters the spirit bait sect as the disciple of the female lead. Despite her beauty, she is hundreds of years of age, and now, famous for her temper and sharp tongue, she and the millet engage in endless fights while on a journey toward immortal cultivation. Number 7. The Journey of Flowers The story starts with the female lead, who has an ability to lure demons and other worldly creatures through her scent. And now, in her journey in solving her strange ability, she meets the male lead, the most gentle yet cold-hearted man who becomes her teacher, mentor, and lover. Number 8. Noble Aspiration When the male was 11 years old, everyone in his village was killed. He was later adopted by the King Yun faction. He meets the female lead, a very energetic and arrogant who loves him, and the second female lead, who is named Fairy from Nine Skies, her beauty that can enchant the entire country. Number 9. Love of Thousand Years The male is an immortal deity who falls in love with the female lead, a mortal woman he longs to be in a relationship with. Despite being quite powerful, he was unable to win her affection. He finds himself pursuing her for a thousand years and ten different mortal incarnations. Number 10. No Boundary the story starts with the female lead, a goddess who descends the mortal world and establishes her own sect with the intent to defeat demonic forces. She joins forces with the male lead, a cold imperial guard to solve crimes and find love along the way. Number 11. An Oriental Odyssey In Tang Dynasty, the female lead, who is the chivalrous daughter of a minister, saves the male lead 
a young man who has amnesia and a mysterious identity. She takes him as a family servant, and the latter vows his loyalty to her. Along with the second million, a constable, three of them solved cases together. Number 12. The Destiny of White Snake the Melid was the master of the medicinal valley and the disciple of the Jade Emperor. He was on his way to becoming an immortal deity when he met the female Lid, a small white snake spirit wandering the mortal rim as a woman. Although she never intended to fall in love with a mortal, sometimes the best thing in life comes to us when we least expect them. Number 13. Miss the Dragon the female is a maid servant who accidentally encounters a snake. She saves it without realizing that the snake is the Melid, a thousand-year-old dragon. As payment for his death, the Melid promises her that he will marry her, but it results in a misunderstanding. Basically, the drama is about their love story that follows three lifetimes. Number 14. Fighter of the Destiny the maid was abandoned in a flowing river and found by a monk. Due to an incurable disease, he is fated not to live past the age of 20. And now, he leaves his home in search of a cure. During the trials and tribulations of his journey, he was accompanied by his newfound friends. And lastly, Marshall Universe Season 1. The maiden is from a small village who isn't favored by his family. By coincidence, he obtains a mysterious artifact that is coveted by many clans in the martial world. Because of this artifact, he is approached by several people from different clans and is forcibly, and is forcibly involved in various events of the martial universe. And that's my top 15 Chantra Fantasy Chinese dramas of all time as of 2022. Thank you for watching!